How's it going everyone? Thank you so much for all the support recently. Welcome back to the channel and we have another video for Clash Royale for you guys today. What we're going to be doing is pushing with this golem deck that I've had a lot of success with recently and see if we can continue this undefeated run. Also, if you guys are just tuning in, I posted a video on Friday with a competition. If you do want to find out more details about that, please go and check it out. The link will be down in the description below. So, without wasting any more time of this intro, let's get into the global tournament. Okay, so this is the deck I'm using. It's a pretty standard golem deck that was quite popular in the last season's meta, but I'm really doing well with it, so why change what's going well? So, as you can see, we're 6-0. We're doing quite well compared to the people around us, and we're just going to try and continue the run. I just want to see how far I can really get here going undefeated. So, there's 15 hours left. Let's just go for it. No issue, just standard gameplay, see what we can go up here. So, we're up against Fabre So One from High End. Given the good luck, we'll drop him one back. I do not make the first move with this deck. No chance. He's going to start things off with a Royal Ghost. I'm going to play the Night Witch. I don't really know what to expect with Royal Ghost at the minute. It's sort of coming up. Oh my god, he's got that bloody card. You go there. Let's get the Mega Minion on for the Flying Machine. I did expect the Baby Dragon to go over there. Thinking arrows here for when all that comes round. Yeah. That should be fine. They'll cross the river. One shot, two shots. And that can continue to run now. So we've got the Royal Ghost again. That's pretty good for a mini pick at running. Because that will be one shot, two shot. And he's wasted way more elixir than us. We do have a bit of an advantage here. I will just rotate a knight. Oh, let's go with the bomber if he's going to play that. We'll keep this elixir advantage because it's going to be very good going into the double elixir time. Can I? Yeah. Oh, it moved! Expected the bomber to stay alive then, then I had to waste three more elixir. That's bad. That's very bad. That shouldn't have happened as well because I played it before that, but we live and we learn. It's not over yet. baby dragon down then for them zappies he's probably going to play his royal ghost again no he's going to play peck out let's you all come over here for that that's fine that's all good i'm just going to let this all run out for a second Let's get the bomber down this side now. He's going to have a huge push coming down this right-hand lane. Let's get all that there. Then we have a lightning. That miner done a lot more damage than I thought. Should have went the other lane, but I just need to be pushing down here. He's going to get his Pekka down. We're going to have the Bomber. Let's get the arrows. Really try to predict that, but I predicted wrong. Let's just keep going. We want to keep the Mini Pekka in for his Miner. There we go. Caught. Nope. Oh, we did catch it. Perfect. That's there. Let's get this over here. Get the bomber. Night Witch now for the Royal Ghost. Yeah. Just a little bit late on that one, but we lost our first match of the tournament. It all happened with that lightning, not catching the flying machine. That ended up getting too many more hits. But we're still in. Very disappointed in that one. We got our first loss of the day as soon as I turned the camera on. Sorry, I'm just a bit nervous. 2.6 Hog Rider, no clan. We'll keep going. Gonna get the bandit, we'll bring it over at the Night Witch without getting the dash on, get the hits off. Get the Night Witch down now, he plays an Electro Wiz, that probably means we're up against another P.E.K.K.A. Yep, definitely gonna be another P.E.K.K.A. Which is a bit unfortunate coming into two hard counters in a row, but that's the game we all love and play. 
hard counters do happen. Oh, he's playing the Mega Knight version, not the P.E.K.K.A. version. Okay. Might be okay there. That may Ah, oh, the Mega Minion. Don't cross. Yeah, it crossed. Let's get the Bomber just to walk at it. I really didn't expect that Mega Knight to cross there. Okay. We've got to have a huge comeback here. Start things off with the Night Watch now gonna poison we know he's got log so let's just play a golem at the back and let's just do one big push as soon as it starts to come round we've got bar barrel so that's gonna die that was a waste of two elixir farm because there was nothing about that he does have the infernal dragon okay if we play this correct we should be fine let's get the mega minion over here can we catch all that? Yeah. Yeah, that should go over there. That'll get the hit. Arrow change over the Mega Minion, but that's good. We've got a good amount of damage there. We forced him to play a Mega Knight as well. Okay. Time's not done yet. Let's get the Baby Dragon down again. Just clicking away at damage. Let's get the Mini Pekka here for that. Please let that overtake. That's fine. That's absolutely grand. Start things off again with a Night Witch in the back. I think he's going a bit too aggressive now. Our push here could be huge for him. Yeah. Yeah. It is going to take that over, but this is going to go forward still. Huge push. How much time's left? 30 seconds. That's grand. Mega Minion's going to go. Let's get our Baby Dragon down this side because we're going to have to go for another huge counter push here. Get the Night Witch down. Get the Golem down again, expecting this Ram Rider. Oh, he's going to poison there. Okay. We're just going to let that go for what it's supposed to. Because the poison should run out by the time the Night Witch crosses and we'll just play a Mega Minion here because the, the, the bats of the Night Witch should take over that. We'll get the bomber. We're going to keep our lightning in hand, though. Let's just arrows that. Oh, I probably shouldn't have arrows that. Nope. Yeah, yeah arrows there was a dumb idea. Yeah, 2-0. Oh. What a bad, bad day. Throwing out the BMs, don't know why, because he had that deck. So let's continue. We keep going, we digress. Might not talk as much now, see if we can push a bit further. I do not want to make the first move, which I have been doing so far. Okay, he's got that elixir golem. I assume it's going to be that really powerful deck at the minute. What's he got there behind it? That's fine. Let's just arrows that to dung. We do not want to deal with the firecracker. Bang, bang, bang. Should be GG. Cool, we take that one nice and easy, well preserved, waited until our time and then just went for the push. No bother at all. Right, so we got one out of three so far. I'm not ending the video there because I am a bit more confident in my ability. As soon as the cameras turned on, I got a bit nervous, thinking, right, this is going out, I need to prepare. And then, obviously, I played really, really bad in them two games, because I'm a really bad player. But let's continue. Let's try and get to at least 10, and then we'll go from there. Right, so we're 7. We need to do a little bit better. So three more wins, and we should be going. We're up against Ezreal from Game of Thrones. 
Doing the same again, wait until they make the first move with this deck, because it's definitely a double elixir deck. Okay, he's got guards. I haven't seen guards used in a while. After they got that little bit of a nerf, was it two seasons ago? And oh, he's got a Lava Hound deck, okay. We are okay with this. I am going to get the mini Pekka down for the bomber, because I expect him to play a uh, tombstone. Oh, no, we'll go with that. That's fine. As long as that gets the hit off there, that's going to do well. Let's just keep that going. Let's try and get the Mega Minion to go over to the... Yes, that's what we wanted. Hopefully it'll get the other hit off. And then we can get the Lightning on here on all three of them. Bang, bang, bang. Come on, get that balloon done. Ah, oh, but the Inferno Driver is still alive. But we've done a serious amount of damage on that side, so I'm okay when it comes to double elixir. That's just collateral damage at the minute, we'll call that. Should we just go for the three current push? Yeah. Let's just let's get the golem down now. Those guard damage is not going to be what he wants whenever I've got my king tower activated. Just need to prepare for that Inferno Dragon getting uh, hits on again. What's he going to play to the Golem? Yeah, that's fine there. I'm expecting his Inferno Dragon to come down now. Yep, that's grand. We will take the tower. The bats there will finish that. Oh, he's got a Minion Horde as well as that. That's strange. Okay, let's play a bit of defense on this left-hand side then as well. Pretty weird that he's got Horde and minions, but we do have everything we need to defend that on this next push now that we're in double elixir, so we don't need to worry. Let's get the golem down. That baby dragon's going to take care of everything for us. We do want to keep arrows. We're just going to say goodbye to this tower. Worth arrow in there? Probably not. Let's get the lightning down now for that. Let's get the arrows down there for everything else. That's going to be tower down for him. Let's get the mini peck over here. Yeah, he's a bit desperate now using fireballs over there. We're calculating this one. Night Witch and everything's going down. We're going to get more damage. That's going to keep you fine. And we're going to do a reset. Because the bat there, uh, them minions, he's just wasted more elixir that he didn't need to. And arrows, buddy. You already had that defense done. Let's get the, oh, I should have kept the mega minion, actually, for the balloon. Let's get the bomber. We need to wait for this balloon. Let's get the baby dragon down. There we go. That'll be fine. That'll be grand. That'll be grand now. We've got the golem going forward. Let's get the bomber down to take care of this. That'll be good. He's on desperate times now. Let's get the baby dragon down to take care of all this. Yes! See? Calculated. Absolutely calculated there. Right, we got that one going. Knowing that he couldn't do enough damage with using them guards that we could actually get a good push going. Right, we're getting a bit of momentum back now. We're nothing to worry about. We're getting there. Okay, so we've lost two. Then we brought it back. We've won two. So we're two more away from ten. We're going to keep going. We're up against Juji from Chinese clan. Or Japanese, I'm sorry. I'm not really good with the symbols. He's going to start things off with a giant, probably giant Sparky, as that's what most people play on these sort of world tournament ladders. Let's go for the Night Witch. Let's get the Mega Minion down now as well, as not to waste elixir. Okay, he's got the Mini Pekka. Um, let's just get the Baby Dragon down. Is that Mini Pekka still alive, really? Wow, and the musketeer locks on to that. We need the bomber down now. That's just going to be too much damage. Okay, the bomber was a great shout there. See, they're just all going to blow up and we're going to keep getting more damage. Okay, let's just do a reset here. He's went a bit ham. 
but we're going to get the damage we've done. Please die, giant. Okay, arrows time. Please die, please die, please die, please die, please die, please die. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Calculated there again. Somehow. <laughs> right, so let's get the Night Witch down again. Nothing else we really want to play there. He has just played Skarmy, so I don't see him having a really good defence for a minute, Pekka. But we're going to... Yeah, he's got his own. We will try and catch this Musketeer off with whatever he throws at next. Let's get the Baby Dragon down, just so we can keep the Lightning on, on balance. Okay. Let's get the Mini Pekka down now for the Giant. That's fine. Baby Dragon needs to do a bit more. How long's left? Four seconds. Right, we'll start off with the Golem now in the back. Now that he's got all that. Right, that's going to die anyway. He just used six Elixir to defend what was already dead. So that's fine. He's going to start again with his uh, Musketeer. Let's get the Night Witch down in the back. Let's get our Mega Minion down. Let's get our Arrows because just to take care of them bats. Let's get the Mini Pekka down here as well. Oh, he's going to play that. Night Witch should turn around, which is going to be fantastic for us. Let's just leave it as it is. Let's get a Golem down in the other lane because it's supposed to basically going to be a tower trade right now. Okay, no, it's not. Let's get the Night Witch. Let's get the Bomber. Mini Pekka's made it to the tower. That's what we wanted. Everything else is going in clutch. Brilliant there on the other side. We keep pushing. He needs to do damage to that side still. Let's get the mini Pekka down. He's desperate. He's not going to get there. We're going to get that. And we're going to go for the three crown. No, we don't get the three crown. But that's three on the bounce though. See, digress. Easy. Calm. That's what we need. None of this panic stations as soon as the camera's on. We're good. Okay, we keep going. We're doing very well at the minute. Gonna crack on in here to the last one. If we get this, it'll be 10, so we'll call that a good victory as well. So up against Mo44 from No Clan. Yet again, we're gonna take it slow, keep it calm. Right, he's gonna go with the most OP car in the deck at the minute, the Goblin Hut. Get the baby dragon down. It would be good if you actually take a shot instead of just taking swings. Okay, I'm gonna get the Night Witch down. Baby Dragon and Goblin Hut's a great combination for them. Let's try and get the golem over here, turn around to that, yep. I know you really shouldn't play golem before, but if there's a good opportunity to do it, why not? Please kill the battle healer. That's jo Night Witch, that's your job. I should just arrows that now. Catch it off guard, oh please. Go on, bats. Oh, it will, it will die yeah, to one hit as long as it puts nothing in front of it. I don't see him having the elixir for anything at the minute, though. Okay, let's go for a mini P.E.K.K.A. Only because I'm going to predict him to play his Goblin Hut. And when he does that, I'm going to play the Bomber. There we go. Now we'll keep going. Bomber stays alive, that's great. Does more damage, even perfect. Okay, so let's go for another push now with the Golem, because that there's not going to do much damage. He must have absolutely no elixir. Let's get the Golem down. Run into the Battle Healer. Hopefully we can get round to the Lightning. Yep, that's going to be fine. That one bat's over there doing bits. Oh, and Tornado. Smart. I think that's the perfect lightning there. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, the bat still stayed alive. Oh, that one baby dragon, go for it. Connect. Right, do your bits. Do damage. Let's get the mega minion now down. Let's just start this all over again. So let's start a mini pick in the back. Oh, he's going to go elixir golem on this side. Okay, let's get a big push going down this left-hand lane. need to cycle back to that mini pekka let's get the mega minion over here just to do as much damage as possible get the mini pekka over here those bats are doing bits for us clean up 
damage. Tower down on both sides. Or no, not on both sides, but he's going for both sides. Let's get the baby dragon to distract him over there. Oh, and we're coming in clutch still. That's going to be another one. Not enough time. We come up there. What a return around from losing two at the start to coming back to going 10 and 2. If you asked me at the start of the day if you would go 10 and 2 in this tournament, I would absolutely take it. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all the support. If you have stayed around to this part of the video, you're a real OG. Much respect. Hero to the people. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.